Hi, I'm Jason, a technician with Cincinnati Bell. The purpose of this support video is to provide you with troubleshooting tips and tricks if you're a Fioptics TV customer. We will share an overview of the equipment that is needed when you're a TV customer and some tips that can help you if you find yourself in need of support. As a TV customer, you will have a set-top box connected to every TV you intend to have service on. For example, if you have three TVs in your home, you have a set-top box at each location. Most issues with set-top boxes can be resolved by rebooting the box. To do this, locate the power cord on the back of the set-top box and pull the plug. Wait about 10 seconds and plug it back in. If the reboot doesn't resolve your issue, you may need to reboot your gateway or exchange your set-top box for a new one. You can find directions to reboot your gateway on our help center or you can visit a retail store to swap out your box for a new one. Another piece of equipment you may have had installed is a mocha dongle. A mocha dongle is a piece of equipment that will connect your gateway to your set-top box via coax cable. If you find that for some reason your mocha dongle is not working properly, check to ensure the coax connection is secure and tight. Make sure it is fully twisted onto the adapter. Then, make sure that the Ethernet cable is securely connected to the gateway. Also, be sure to check your power adapter and the connection in the back. Sometimes, this plug can become loose and cause issues. There may be a scenario when wiring may not be used and instead, you have a wireless access point installed. This piece of equipment is installed when the wiring inside your home may not be compatible or using a wireless solution is the best option. These are very easy to locate as they will always be close to your set-top box. If you're experiencing issues with any of your wireless access points, the first step in troubleshooting is to locate the power adapter and unplug it from the back of the equipment. Once you have plugged it back in, give it a couple minutes to reconnect automatically. If this doesn't fix your connectivity issue, please ensure the wireless access point connected to your set-top box is on CL mode. You can do this by looking on the back of the device. There is a switch that has three different positions. Also, you will want to make sure that the wireless access point that is connected to your gateway is in AP mode. As a TV customer, you were given a remote control for each set-top box you had installed. So, if you had three set-top boxes installed, you should have three remotes. We carry two different types of remotes our standard Fioptics remote, and a large button remote, which is available upon request. One great tip I'd like to show you is what to do if your remote control stops controlling your set-top box. Grab the remote, point it towards the set-top box that you want to control. Press and release the cable button first, then hold the setup and red C button simultaneously until the cable button flashes twice. This will reprogram your remote control to your set-top box. If you were provided our wireless set-top boxes, seen here, your setup wouldn't have a wireless access point or a mocha dongle. Your set-top box receives the wireless signal directly from the gateway. There are a few different troubleshooting steps you should take if you find your set-top box isn't working properly. First, look at the wireless signal icon on the front of the set-top box. These bars indicate the signal strength your set-top box has. Just like a cell phone, the more bars, the stronger the signal. If you find that there are no bars, try moving your set-top box closer to the gateway. If you still have no signal, follow these step-by-step -step instructions. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, you can visit our Help Center or our YouTube channel for tutorial videos.